ready to go. These superstars are about to put on a clinic in tag team competition, guys. That's how good they are. I wonder if we'll see any underhanded Ugh. tactics from Bobby Fish here tonight. Saxton, you're confusing underhanded tactics with Bobby Fish's natural talent and rugged grit. What a bug to the face! Oh, here we go. Converted DDT! Fight. Huge toss. That one fails to connect. Great idea by him. Too bad it was awfully executed, though. Absorbing some offense here. Heading into this match, he and his partner look extremely oh, confident. It looks to me like his partner's itching to get in there. And now might be a good time to give him what he wants. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point. But that can obviously all change here. Oh, chip-breaking uppercut. Challenger starting to falter. So much on the line here in the match for him. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, Scott. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Oh, man! Ouch! Oh, flying through on the mark. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. DDT! Lights out. Here's his chance. That'll readjust your spine. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE locker room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must. Oh my God! DDT! Spike them! I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Impressive, but you got to be careful if you go to the well too often. Took him out at the knee. Incoming. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have. Maybe the dip. Kyle O'Reilly set it up! Ooh, what impact! But he's got to capitalize now. It's obvious Montez Ford is feeling the pain that has been dealt out so far. Unless this thing turns around here, this tag team match is all but over. Tag nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Call me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. The champ to the top turnbuckle. Oh boy, he is rolling. Have you ever seen a human being tossed like that? Tremendous ring presence from. 
from the apron. There's the cover. Can he do it? Montez Ford quickly getting the shoulder up. Not yet. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the Tag Team Title Tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural Tag Team Champions. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. Now that's what you call a bad landing. But can he follow up here? What are the odds that we'll see new Tag Team Champions come out of here tonight? And here's Montez Ford. This is up. What an incredible tag team contest. Whenever tag team is on the docket, the mayhem multiplies. Here's the proof. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. Here are your winners, and still NXT Tag Team Champions, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, The Street Profits. What an amazing victory here to claim the coveted Tag Team Championship. Any way you slice it, that win right there is beyond important. Amazing match, guys. Before we move on, I'd like to remind everybody that we're coming to you live from Phoenix, the site of WrestleMania 26.